Today in my active tools, let's do a battle of the brushless against the Milwaukee M12 impact drivers. Now we have three of them here. We're going to test them out and compare them, see on how these actually are. And we're also going to determine in this video if it is worth the upgrade from the previous generation. So let's have a little bit of fun and get to it. The 2462 weighs 2 pounds and 14.3 ounces. The 2553 weighs 2 pounds and 9.4 ounces. And the 3453 weighs 2 pounds and 7.6 ounces. And as you can see, it is the lightest out of the three tools. Model number is 2462-20, $99 tool. It is brushed, 1,000 inch pounds of torque, 3,000 impacts per minute, 2,500 RPM. Battery is full. We are using Hilti bits. We'll do a six inch by a quarter inch lag. Let's see how well this tool does. And as you can see, this tool is actually pretty slow. It is a much older brushed model. It, I'm just amazed that it could even do this. Thirty-four point ninety-four seconds. Battery is full. They're all using four amp hour batteries. Ten point zero six seconds. It is on speed three, battery is full, four amp hour battery. Seven point fifteen seconds. The older brush model is thirty four point ninety four seconds, and the newer model is seven point fifteen seconds for the win. Eleven point zero one seconds. Much better. Four point fifty five seconds. Now let's see what the newer one does. Three point twenty eight seconds. And as you can see right here, the newer model for the win with three point twenty eight seconds, and the brushed model with eleven point zero one seconds. All right, let's do a six inch flat lock. We are using Makita bits. Time, 17.53 seconds. Model number is 2553-20, $79 tool only. It is brushless, 1,300 inch-pounds of torque, 4,000 impacts per minute, 3,300 RPM. This has been a good tool for a few years, you guys. It, it, it's, it's still worth the money. 7.96 seconds. Two five five three got seven point ninety six seconds, which that is for the one, and the older brush one got seventeen point fifty three seconds. Five point fifty seven seconds. Two point seventy seven seconds. And. 2.75 seconds and as you can see right here that it's pretty much tie when it comes to the previous model and the newer model but the newer model got 2.75 seconds for the win we are using hilti nut setter bits on this five inch ledger lock didn't do too bad with this one 7.22 seconds 4.88 seconds and the new, newer model got 3.91 seconds. And as you can see right here, the newer model with 3.91 seconds for the win, and the older brush model got 7.22 seconds. 2.81 seconds. 2.05 seconds. Model number is 3453-20, $139 for tool only. Brush, it's a brushless motor, 1,500 inch pounds of torque, 4,000 impacts per minute, 3,600 RPM. It is a nice tool, you guys. 1.73 seconds. And as you can see, the newer model with 1.73 seconds is for the win, followed by the previous model, which is 2.05 seconds. Let's do a six inch timber lock. And this tool is so slow. 13.48 seconds. Much better. 6.11 seconds. 5.27 seconds for the win with the newer model. And as you can see, the previous brush model did 13.48 seconds. 
6.54 seconds 2.72 seconds 2.43 seconds it's pretty much tied between the new model and the previous model with 2.72 seconds and 2.43 seconds but the newer model got the win next let's do a four five six inch three eighths inch lags galvanized we are increasing the difficulty for the test so let's see how well this older brushed model does with a four inch by three eighths inch lag 21.65 seconds the brushless fuel tools are amazing they really are 8.23 seconds time for the newer model 8.35 seconds the previous model got 8.23 seconds for the win and the newer model got 8.35 seconds in second place this tool struggles 6.31 seconds 2.72 seconds and the new model 2.43 seconds as you can see right here the newer model got 2.43 seconds for the win followed by this previous model with 2.72 seconds that older brush model is a little it's a little outdated if you will Thirty-three point ninety-four seconds. We are going to take this inside. It's starting to get late, and these tools are pretty loud outdoors. So it's, I brought them back inside the garage. Twelve point seventy-four seconds. That newer model impact driver is nice, you guys. Like I love the design. Milwaukee did really well on that design. It's nice. 9.73 seconds and as you can see right here the newer model for the win with 9.73 seconds and in the last place with 33.94 seconds is the older brushed model this older brushed model actually did struggle with every single task compared to the the two latest models 15.45 seconds 3.94 seconds 2.20 seconds the newer models for the win 2.20 seconds followed by the previous model 3.94 seconds and of course the brush model is in last place again let's amp it up to a six inch lag i forgot why i stopped i was distracted for a second i don't remember but this tool is slow 35.68 seconds. 19.22 seconds. 14.70 seconds. The newer M12. 14.70 seconds followed by the previous model which is 19.22 seconds and once again the brush model with 35.68 seconds is in last place now this tool right here you guys it, it's it's no it's i mean i'm amazed it's even doing these tasks the motor did smell like it was burning a little bit with 14.45 seconds 6.28 seconds. 5.21 seconds. That brush model with 14.45 seconds. That is terrible numbers. For the win again, the newer model with 5.21 seconds. And for the last test, we are going to do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Let's see how well this brushed model does. Thirty six point eleven seconds. Final temperature is one hundred and sixteen degrees. Full bar still on the previous model. That is much better. Sixteen point thirty six seconds. Final temperature is one hundred and eight degrees.
For the win again goes to the newer model with 13.63 seconds followed by the previous model with 16.36 seconds. Final temperature is 106 degrees. Older brush model had two bars remaining. The previous model has three bars remaining and the new model has two bars remaining. If you have the 2553 20 and it works perfectly, you don't need to upgrade to the newer one. This one you can get for $79. This one you can get for $99. This is garbage. Don't even buy it. Don't even buy the kit. This thing is garbage. And this one is 139 tool only. So if you have this Milwaukee M12 impact driver, you don't need to upgrade. You really don't. If this one's cheaper. You already have it, so you already bought it. And if it's covered under warranty, if you guys don't need to upgrade to the next gen, you don't need to. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.